Hello everyone, I'm gonna share my screen really quickly here. Um, I'm Anna, I'm from Brazil, and here with me is another Anna, uh, also from Uniclima. And well, let, let us start. Uh, hi guys, good morning for everyone. My name is also Anna and I'm a member of Uniclima. I study at PUC Minas, a Belo Horizonte, Brazil, and here we go. You can pass this way, Anna. Okay, uh, so here we have our summary. That is all the things we are gonna talk about. And first of all, we are gonna say what we have already achieved and where are we at, strategy, source of inspiration, plans for the future, and the lessons that we have learned. You can pass. Okay, we, what do we have achieved? First of all, we have our branding with a designer that gives like credibility and identity to our organization. We also have a partnership with the local TEDx and we participate uh, a couple months ago in the climate hackathon. And also we, we have a partnership with the climate science that is another uh, climate organization. We have uh, support within the university in the green that it's a, a energy project and also the Miniono that it's a, a United Nations uh, simulations for the students from, from the students like the high school students and we also and then the Klima started with three members and now we are turning to 30 members so we grow really big <laughs> and what where are we at we, we also have some kind of communication with some other courses like geography engineer biology psychology architecture and religion students uh, religion studies and our university is a catholic university so it's also important to have that we have a working group of the sustainable university that is also another uh, extension prog pr uh, project in the university we have our instagram to like democrat democratize uh, climate education and also we have finished already our climate committee letter to the university so guys, uh, for our climate commitment letter and our overall strategy, um, we use as argumentation the encyclical called Laudato Si, made by Pope Francis, which argues about ecology and how we have to take care of our common home. So that that was uh, argumentation strategy we use in the climate committed commitment letter. And we also use local climate change data to show how climate change will impact the staff, the, the students and campuses. So people, you know, get closer to the climate reality. Um, in addition, we expanded our vision because we realized that curriculum adaptation is a way to ensure that a long term impact um, to ensure that will change the mindset of students and not only the university structure. So we want to make sure that students will take the sustainability mindsets to their, for their future employment. Um, in addition, we noticed some university gaps. So we realized that there is a lot of lack of information or groups that are working uh, with sustainability, but they are isolated in their own courses so that there's not a lot of community um, and communication within the university initiatives. Um, also, we, we realized that climate change is an intersectional problem. And thinking about that, we started connecting with collectives um, in our university, for instance, feminism, feminism collectives and anti-racism, um, gender equality, and etc. So we know that um, climate change is going to make so, things so much worse for so many groups, especially. So we want to work together for this uh, common cause. And our sources of inspiration, of course, uh, how to change the world workshop that Isha mentioned. Um, it really helped us to think about the uh, curricular adaptation methodology. 
So I deeply recommend you if you watch it. Uh, I think uh, it is uploaded on the Climate Students Library and it's amazing. It's completely practical. It gives you direct instructions of how to make curricular adaptation happen. Uh, also SOS, the Students Organizing for Sustainability provided us a lot of data regarding um, climate action and demands from students. So they have really good uh, argumentation there, data that are important and relevant for your argumentation. Um, in addition, Green Office is also a great course that is free and you can get online. Uh, it gives you some uh, directions, how to structure your local group, how to start your local group. And the climate students movement, of course, uh, Uniclima, it's important to say we started one year ago uh, at the same conference you are at right now. And I was alone and then I came together with two friends and then we now we are 30 Uniclimbers, as we say. So um, that's important to mention that um, we need to start small, but uh, it's amazing where you can get. Um, and also the Race to Zero and World Hankings, as other groups have mentioned, they are really relevant because universities care about their public image and um, those initiatives mobilizes climate action. Um, plans for the future. Um, so we plan to develop a sustainability observatory to monitor um, sustainability within the university and we um, will partner with another initiative um, from the biology course, which is the Sustainable University. Uh, also, we realized, we discovered that the city hall from our city has a millennium of observatory. So we are trying to get their SG, SDG, uh, Sustainable Development Goals, to use, um, to use at our Sustainability Observatory to copy, copy their methodology. Also, we want in the future to impact the local community, planting trees and uh, giving climate education lessons for schools, local schools. And we want to expand Uniclima within Brazil, you know, uh, mobilizing action in another, another, other universities. So lessons we have learned, uh, this is the last slide, but lessons we have learned um, think big. Um, at the beginning, we heard a lot of no's and a lot of people um, trying to you know, like dismotivate us and we didn't hurt them. We completely ignored them and we, we succeeded. Um, so someone will hear you guys eventually. Uh, don't give up. Also focus on the ones that are interested in what you're doing. Uh, we had the coordinator of our course at first, she was completely interested, you know, um, at helping in the clima, but she disappeared. She totally um, forgot about us. And now we are um, making partnership with another course because um, they really, um, cares about us and we're interested in us. So focus on the one that are interested in your initiative. Always have a plan B, C, D, because um, sometimes your first strategy is not going to work. Um, be proud and be your organization's advocate because uh, you are doing an amazing thing and don't let people put you down. Um, and always dig everything. I think uh, our networking group uh, we are called the um, spice because we are always digging information online to uh, looking for emails and uh, getting trying contacting important people in the university so we have to really dig sometimes to get those connections and find out new possibilities and that was it thank you guys uh, if you have any questions we are here and thank you for listening Excellent. Uh, we just got uh, a question in the chat, actually, from someone who is also from Brazil. Uh, so I, there's a lot of text there. I'll leave you to, to read it. But the question is, 
what do you suggest to motivate students uh, is the key question, which I know is a question you've been struggling with a lot. So uh, let us know what you've been, what you found out. That's amazing. I'm super excited to get in touch with you. So who wants to answer? What do you suggest to motivate students? Um, do you want to answer, Anna? Mm, uh, I don't know. I think like you have to pass the, the message of your organization and you have to have a goal to achieve. And I think that is what motivates us in Uniclima. But I don't know. You can complete, Anna. Um, I think people, at least here in Brazil, extracurricular uh, activities are really relevant. So you need to have, as Anna said, you need to have a clear goal of where are you going? Because if your organization is a mess, people will get discouraged to be a part of it. So you need to always divide um, functions and tasks for each people, you know, delegate and give people autonomy to develop their activities. Um, and I joined um, Uniclima only this year. And, you know, you, you have to show the person the benefits of being in your organization. So, um, for example, having access to re resources as the Climate Students Library, it's a great uh, motivator and workshops also. Um, so um, you can also put that in your LinkedIn, in your curriculum. So people like to be recognized for their work. And I think that's essential. To, and, and to, at last, I think uh, when people see results, when people see that the organization is going somewhere, um, that you have achieved, you have some conquests, people get more motivated to help because um, baby steps are important. So you get to the bigger picture. I think that was it. Great, great. Uh, seems that that answer was uh, appreciated. So thank you, Anna and Anna, very much for that.